making uh, pasteurized white cheddar cheese curds at uh, Young's Dairy's uh, dairy manufacturing plant where we make both uh, cheese and ice cream. We add ingredients such as uh, rennet, calcium chloride, cultures, coagulates into one big bowl, we cut it up, we cook the curds to 102 degrees Fahrenheit from 90 degrees, so they stay as one like condensed curd. After we are done stirring, which takes about two hours, we pack the curds on the side of the vat and cut them into blocks. Uh, the next process after we flip and stack the blocks, once the pH drops to 5.45, we will mill the curds. Milling them is making them into little finger-shaped curds. Uh, from there, we will salt the curds. And after three saltings, I will package them into buckets and send them over to the dairy store. A lot of it was just, it sounded really cool and interesting to make cheese and ice cream, and I thought, why not? I've never done it before. Take a chance and let's make my co-op job. I kind of noticed like farming out there is a science and I mean we're working with pH levels, we're adding like different ingredients that contain different chemical compounds into the cheese like calcium chloride when you pasteurize. I'm kind of like taking my chemistry knowledge and like kind of applying it in here a little bit seeing how like oh I can make probably calcium chloride through different type of chemical reactions and we use that in the cheese. It's locally made. I mean as you can see here we're making it, we're not uh, producing it in a giant factory, plus supporting the young business, a uh, small family local business that's been growing in the area. And apparently our cheese is, according to some consumers, much better than other cheeses made in larger production plants. I'm Mark Brimmeyer and I'm in the world at Young's Jersey Dairy. Thank you.